Hey guys, it's Emma, and today I'm going to be doing my October wrap up video for you. Um, just so you guys know, I'm going to be doing an announcement at the very end of this video, so make sure you stick around for that. And yeah, let's get into the wrap up. So for the first eight things that I read in the month of October, they are part of the Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy novellas that Cassandra Clare is writing with a few other authors. The second one in this series is The Lost Herondale. I gave this one five stars and it was really, really good. The next one that I read is the third one and it is called The Whitechapel Fiend. I gave this book four stars and I really loved the interaction between Jace and Simon. The next one is the fourth one and it is called Nothing But Shadows. I gave this book four stars. It was probably my least favorite novella so far in the series, but I did really enjoy it. The next one is the fifth one and it is called The Evil We Love. I gave this one five stars and I absolutely loved it. Next one is the sixth one and it is called Pale Kings and Princes. I gave this one five stars. It is one of my favorite ones that I've read. The next one is the seventh one and it is called Bitter of Tongue. I gave it five stars. I absolutely love this one. I just love the Simon-Izzy relationship in this one. It is probably my most favorite of the novellas that I'd read. It was just so, so good. And if you love Simon and Isabel, you will love this one too. The next one is the eighth one and it is called The Fiery Trial. I gave this one four stars. I didn't like it as much as the last one, but it was still really, really good. If you love the friendship relationship between Clary and Simon, you will definitely love this book. The next one is the ninth one and it is called Born to Endless Night. This one came out on October 20th. So this is the most recent installment that is out right now. And oh my gosh, it was amazing. It was definitely one of my absolute favorites in this entire series. Not as much as the other one that I loved, but it's really close up there. I gave this one five stars. It was amazing. If you love Magnus and Alec, just Malik feels, you will definitely love this one because it was perfect. And I can just go on and on and on about this novella alone. So I'm going to stop before spoilers. But let's just say if you love Malik, you need to read this like now. Getting out of the Cassandra Clare theme and the Mortal Instruments and the Shadowhunters theme, I did read some other books from other authors, so let's get into those. The first one of those that I read is The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this book. I give it five stars. It was amazing. It's not a genre that I would normally pick up and read. The book was just perfect and you definitely need to go pick this one up. Even if you don't think it's your genre, because it really wasn't mine, I picked it up and I like loved it. The next book that I read is The Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. I picked this book up right after I finished The Queen of the Tearling. I gave this one four stars. I didn't like it as much as the first one, but it was still amazing. And just so you guys know, both of these books, it only took me four days to read them. Like both of them, I took two days on this one and two days on this one. That is like unheard of for me and just so you guys know the series was that good that I just literally had to marathon it. Like I had to go run out and get this one. I had to do it. No sleep for me. I had to do it. The next book and the last book that I read in the month of October is Life and Death by Stephanie Meyer. This is the gender reversed thing for Twilight. It was so good. I gave it three stars. I was kind of mixed feelings about it but it was really really good and I really liked that she changed it. Like, when I went into reading it, I didn't think she would change anything about it and it would just be the name changes, but, like, the story had a different take just from reading it from a different perspective. I don't know really how to explain it, but if you like Twilight, or even if you don't like Twilight and you just have a emotional attachment for, like, the time period that you read Twilight in, definitely go pick it up because it is really cool to read it, like, reverse gender switched. It was just really cool and I enjoyed it. So that is the wrap-up portion of my video. Now let's get into the announcement portion. The announcement portion is that I'm going to be participating in NaNoWriMo. Um, actually, I already started NaNoWriMo since it is November 5th. Um, but yeah, I am going to be doing NaNoWriMo this year. If you have no idea what NaNoWriMo is, here's my attempt to explain it to you. But I will put all the links down below in the description bar, so definitely go check those out if you're still confused, because I know I'm not the best at explaining things. NaNoWriMo is National Novel Writing Month. It is for the month of November. Basically, it's just a lot of people trying to write a novel in the month of November. I've decided to do NaNoWriMo this year. I tried it last year, and it didn't work out. 
So I'm trying it again this year and hopefully we will get near the goal of 50,000 words. If you guys are participating in NaNoWriMo, I will put the link to my page down below. So definitely go add me as your buddy list or just email me, talk to me on Twitter, just talk to me if you guys want to talk and try to motivate each other through NaNoWriMo since it's a very difficult process. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and just subscribe to my channel because I'd really appreciate that and I will see you guys next time. Bye!